Hey everyone, it's finally happened. Summoning and minion mods are starting to become available for Daggerfall Unity. I've been waiting for this ever since I learned of the Daggerfall Unity project. A little background for those who don't know, in Daggerfall the Conjuration School of Magic doesn't exist. It first came in Morrowind. It's early days and these mods are rather primitive with what they offer, but it's a great start and also proof of concept that it's possible to mod minion gameplay into this fascinating Elder Scrolls game. The best of these early mods seems to be Conjurer's Artifacts. It adds a bunch of items to the game that summon different types of minions. It adds quests which tell you where to get the items and from whom. For necromancy, what you want is the Amulet of Summon Undead, which will summon a ghost, skeleton, wraith, or zombie when used. Other items are the Wand of Summoned Vermin, which summons either 5 rats, 5 bats, or 3 imps, Bracelet of Summoned Wild Beast, which summons a bear, tiger, giant spider, or giant scorpion, Ring of Summoned Atronarch, which summons a fire, ice, flesh, or iron Atronarch, Emerald of Summoned Monster, which summons a centaur, a giant, a nymph, a spriggan, a harpy, a dragonling, or a gargoyle and the Ruby of Summon Daedra, which summons a Fire Daedra, a Frost Daedra, a Daedroth, or a Daedra Lord. The undead that are summoned are strong, but there's some problems. Firstly, the minions won't follow you around, so you'll summon your skeleton or whatever, and he'll just stay put, and you'll either have to try and lure enemies to him, or you just use it in a place where there's already a lot of enemies around. The items also require an in-game week to recharge, and a single use depletes the entire item, so you'll only be able to use it once a week. Needless to say, these restrictions make it impossible to have a summoning playstyle, and rather the items are more of a cool gimmick. There's some hope though, because the mod files can be opened in an editor and tweaked. I was able to modify the artifact3.txt, which is the file responsible for the amulet. If you change the clock recharge variable to something like 30 in-game minutes, rather than an entire week, the amulet will be much more usable. You could lower it further, but what this means for me when I play is the item became, becomes useful again in one or two minutes. The next thing to fix would be the duration of the summoned minion. You can modify this inside the minions file. For example, if we change skeleton.txt clock timer to something more appropriate than 20 in-game minutes, or whatever it is, to become something like 10 days, we can get a minion that lasts a decent amount of time. You can also do mad shit, like change the create foe summon every 0 minutes 1 times with 100% success to something like 5 times, and then you'll get 5 skeletons. But if you do this, you'll also need to add a little code to pacify them. You can steal that from the rats.txt file, and add it in above the timer task. If you don't do this, then the extra minions will be hostile, as you can see now. For this little example, I modified the file to add 3 skeletons instead of 1, but I didn't add the pacify code, so these other two skeletons are trying to kill me. So if you play around a little with this, you can probably create some kind of system that you'll be able to enjoy. The biggest issue is still that they won't follow you. If you tweak the files like I have, I can't guarantee you won't encounter problems. I haven't tested this extensively, so who knows what can or will happen later on. I imagine at the very least, having these extra minions around all the time will bloat the save files a little bit. I'd recommend you make backups before fiddling with stuff, just in case of problems. I'm scoring the Kundra's artifacts a 4.63 out of 10, which sounds really rough, but you only get one minion at a time, none of them are permanent, and you have to wait an entire week between minions. Although the minions are useful in combat, points are lost for them not following you around. Minion diversity is good, with the four different kinds of undead and then all the other minions that are available from the other items. But it can't be said that this is really a very satisfying minion playstyle. It's not like starting the game with a necromancy class or something. There's no progression or anything like that. So it can't score that highly, but I'm not trying to knock the mod or anything. This is just feedback, otherwise how will anyone know what we like? In any case, I'm very happy that these mods are starting to arrive. It means we can finally have fun in Daggerfall as a summoner which is something that hasn't been possible up until now. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.